Hello, I'm Pastor Mark of Overbrook Presbyterian Church. I'd like to invite you to spend the next few moments with me, reflecting together on God's Word. I was watching a movie recently, and someone was going through a very difficult time, and they asked a friend what they should do or how they should handle this very difficult trial they were facing. And their friend said, well, when I'm facing difficult times, I pray. Their friend responded, but I don't believe that God exists. What should I do? And their friend said, pray anyway. Now, I found that a little shocking at first, but then I began to think about it. And I remembered a passage where God approaches Moses and tells Moses to go to Pharaoh and ask him to let God's people go. And Moses responds, well, who should I say has sent me? And in Exodus 3.14, God responds like this. God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, say this to the people of Israel, I am has sent me. Now just think about that. I am. It's, it's a statement of being. God is. You may have heard the phrase before, God said it, I believe it, that settles it. And then I heard somebody say, you know, really that middle part, I believe it, is completely unnecessary. God said it, that settles it. God says, I am. Not if you believe in me, I am, but I am. God's existence does not depend on our belief. God is, which is just such a wonderful bit of assurance to me. That means when my faith is faltering, when I'm weak, or maybe when I've given up completely, God still is. Even when I say, God, you're not, God still says, I am. And so the God who loved me and you enough to send his only son to die on a cross for our sins is there 24 seven around the clock. So I would encourage you when you're down, when you've given up on prayer and maybe even when you've given up on God, the best thing you can do is still pray for God is. Thank you for spending this time with me today, reflecting on the Word of God for the people of God.